Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this week. I will be studying a wonderful lesson on insects. Our topic this week, as you can see, is metamorphosis in insects. Our learning objectives, as usual, we have our learning objective as to be able to define metamorphosis. We should also be able to distinguish between the two types of metamorphosis. We should also be able to describe the life cycle of a cockroach as an example of incomplete metamorphosis. And also, we should be able to describe the life cycle of a housefly as an example of complete metamorphosis. Definition of metamorphosis Metamorphosis is defined as a series of distinct changes that take place in the development of an organism from fertilized egg stage into an adult animal stage. The word metamorphosis is derived from two words meta, which means change, and morphosis, which means form. So if you coin the two words together, you will understand clearly that metamorphosis is all about change that happens in form. The ability of an organism to change into different forms from one stage to the other, from one stage to the other. That is what metamorphosis is. We have two types of metamorphosis. The first one is called complete metamorphosis or Hollow metabolus. Either we call it complete metamorphosis or we say hollow metabolus. Remember that hollow is the same thing as complete. So, in complete metamorphosis, we have four stages. Four stages to complete the life cycle of the organism. The first one we see the egg that we hatch into lava. Then the lava will change into pupa, and the pupa will now change into adult. These four stages make up a complete metamorphosis. Examples of organisms or insects that undergoes complete metamorphosis are housefly, butterfly, wasps, bees, beetles, mosquito. In their life cycle, they undergo these four stages from egg to larva, from larva to pupa, and from pupa to adult. The second one is incomplete metamorphosis. Incomplete metamorphosis. The second one is incomplete metamorphosis. In incomplete metamorphosis, we have three stages instead of four. The egg hatches into a nymph, into a nymph that resembles the adult, except that in the nymph you will see the absence of wings, and some of them, the gonads, are not yet developed. So they are, and also the size of the nymph is always smaller than the size of the adult. So, but here you see that there is no lava stage and there is nothing like pupa stage too. You only see egg from egg, you see nymph from nymph, you see adult. These are the three stages that are involved in an incomplete metamorphosis or we say that it's a hemi metabolus. Remember I said earlier that complete metamorphosis is called holo metabolus. Why incomplete metamorphosis is called hemimetabolus. Examples of organisms that undergoes incomplete metamorphosis are cockroach, grasshopper, locust, dragonfly, aphids, gray mantis, termites, etc. These organisms they undergoes only the, these three stages of to complete their life cycle. Let's look at the differences between complete and incomplete metamorphosis. 
if we look at the diagram, we'll be able to identify the differences between the two types of metamorphosis. Now, one, we say that in this, in this complete metamorphosis, we have four stages. Four stages of that completes the life cycle. Why here we only have three stages? Now, apart from that, we say that in incomplete metamorphosis here, the development of wing is external during the juvenile stage. The, the development of wing is always external during the juvenile stage. But in complete metamorphosis, the development of wing is internal during the larva stage. So from the larva stage, the wing will start developing. Immediately it reaches the pupa stage before the adult the wings will emanate. Another one there is that in here you will not see anything like pupa. There is no pupa stage in incomplete metamorphosis. Why incomplete metamorphosis? Yeah, we can, you can see the presence of pupa stage. Nif. Nif is similar to the adult. If you look at the nif, you see that nif has some characteristics that are similar to the adult. Both the appendages, the, the limbs, they are always similar to the adult. But here, you will see that there is no nymph stage at all. We don't have any stage called nymph. Now, again, look at this incomplete metamorphosis. There is nothing like larval stage. But here, we have the presence of larval stage. In incomplete metamorphosis, the larva or the nymph, the nymph and the adult, both of them live in the same habitat and they feed on the same thing, uh, the same food they depend on. But here, in complete metamorphosis, lava, pupa and adult, they live in different environments. Both the lava, pupa and adult, they live in different environment and they feed on different food. And they feed on different food. And so that you can see that then feeding on different food will also reduce the rate of competition in the environment as well. These are some of the differences that you can observe between a complete metamorphosis and incomplete metamorphosis. And let's look at the life cycle of a housefly. The life cycle of a housefly as an example of complete metamorphosis. In the life cycle of a housefly, immediately after mating, it takes about two to three days for fertilized eggs to be laid. The laying of eggs always takes place in the daylight. During this time, the female alights on the material to which it is attracted. So, the, the materials will always be a decomposing matter or any organic matter such as human or animal phases. So during this time, the eggs are laid in six or five batch batches or that is made up of about 100 to 150 eggs. So these eggs, they are in a banana-like shape. They always hatch in about six to 12 hours depending on favorable temperature. And during this time, they will hatch and form a larva that is called maggot. Now the larva has a head bearing hook mandibles. The hook mandibles enables it uh, to tear its own food. Now apart from tearing its own food, the head can be withdrawn into its head. Eyes and legs are absent on this you know, during this stage. There are about twelve segments. In, in the body of the larva, and these 12 segments, the first three segments form the, the thorax, while the first thoracic segment bears a pair of spiracles. These spiracles are present on segment 12. Now, the larva feed continuously and hiding away from the surface, it molts about three to two times before entering into pupa. Uh, the process of Passing from this larva stage to pupa is what we call pupation. The third stage that stops feeding and then migrates into an inactive stage. During this time, what happens here is that there is a lot of structural development. Internal development occurs during the pupa stage. 
it's a it's shorter in length during this time than the lever it is uh, like a barrel shape the skin of the pupa is stage from the puparium it becomes hard and very very brownish in color the anterior and posterior spiracles are always present during this stage and apart from the spiracles the pupa stage just as i said earlier is always called at a resting stage where internal reorganization of organ takes place now after the pupa stage you enter into the adult stage or imago the imago emerges about four to five days in warm weather so the perm cap is forced to open when it opens the imago we emanate we come out from it if the fly rests until its wings are unfolded and body we ha uh, hardens before it can be able to move when it finds a partner and mate the process of the female laying egg start again and the egg will come out so the life cycle keep on going around so we can see that in the life cycle of a house fly as a complete metamorphosis we have the eggs we have the lever and we have the pupa stage which is the resting stage and we have the imago and let's look at the economic importance of house fly a house fly is a vector of various diseases like vector of virus bacteria and producer uh, which cause polio cholera typhoid fever dysentery and diarrhea a house fly also carries eggs of cystoid and nematode to our food causing warm infection since we have known the economic importance of house fly what are the ways in which we can control the breeding of house fly the first one food must be properly covered or kept in fly proof containers another one rubbish and dirt must be destroyed and cleared off breeding grounds should be sprayed with chemicals such as their drain to kill them and also fly proof covers should be used to cover the latrines and pit to prevent flies from coming out from them let's look at the life cycle of a cockroach an example of incomplete metamorphosis the cockroach is an, is an insect that undergoes incomplete metamorphosis after mating the male introduces sperm into the genital opening of the female during this time the sperms are stored in the sperm pouch until the eggs are released from the two ovaries so immediately the sperms are released from the two ovaries as the eggs are fertilized by the stored sperms fertilization is therefore internal in this organism now apart from immediately fertilization according the fertilized eggs are arranged in group of 16 inside post like library this library or hard egg case prevent water loss and give protection to the egg the brown color of the eggs blends to the environment so that predators or any other organisms will not destroy it. The rigid surface of SK provide firm attachment to substratum. About 16 eggs or 15 fertilized eggs in each case are arranged in two rows of eight. So the female carries the egg case apart for some time in her abdominal pouch, depositing them on a dark place so that they can be protected. After about 30 to 90 days, the egg will hatch into a nymph. Now, during this time, it, it resembles the adult in except that they are very small. During this nymph stage, wingless, color legs, and their reproductive organs are not developed. So, these are the differences that you can identify between the nymph and the adult. They are small, wingless colorless and undeveloped reproductive organs so the new feed grow and become dark brown in color and it will mort several times to undergo ecdysis or molting several mortings will occur for it to emerge into a brown color adult now during the adult stage matured wings it has wings now but appear in the last month the wings appears in the last month the wings and the body attain full size during this time 
and it takes about 40 to 60 weeks for the nymph to reach the adult size. So when doing the, the, the nymph reaches the adult size, reproduction will commence again, in which the adult stage they will start laying eggs and the life cycle continues. What are the economic importance of cockroaches? The first one, cockroaches, they are household pests. They destroy books, clothes, food and other useful materials. Apart from that, they are transmitters of intestinal disease like dysentery, tuberculosis and leprosy. These are economic importance of cockroaches. They are repulsive odor and dirty habitat make them a nuisance in our environment so if if you have a cockroach within you you must always identify or know that you have a nuisance because the organism causes a lot of nuisance in the environment thank you today next week we'll continue our wonderful lesson